Howdy friends, and welcome to The Average J. It is time for Tuesday Tag, and we are in the great state of Texas <laughs> with our daughter Stephanie and our son-in-law Josh, and our grandson Gavin, who is playing off to the side. So it's a very good time. Uh, I'm dropping Michelle off. She is going to stay for a week, and then I'm going to do military duty for a couple weeks, and then I'll come back down and get Michelle, and she'll fly home. I'll stay for the rest of it. But we're so excited, we get to do a Tuesday tag, and the Tuesday tag has gotten a little different. It is now not really necessarily individual tags, it is a group tag, and all of those channels will be linked down below for all of our tag friends. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, get to the questions, and they are New Year's related questions. So. Number one, what was the single best thing that happened this past year? I'll say this. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm well, here. But it's January 1st. That would be this uh, year. You'll have to wait until but next I, year. I started out this year to get here. Didn't we start out Friday? New oh, Year's? we did. We yeah. started out on New Year's <laughs> Eve. So yeah. Well, that wouldn't be nice. <laughs> you found the uh, loophole. No, well, I mean... Did. I would say that, you know, I got to see Stephanie, Josh, and Gavin multiple yeah. times this last year. They came out to New Jersey and saw us in June? Yeah. April. April. Yeah, April. Okay, so they came out in the spring, and I got to see them twice in November. So that's the best mm -hmm. thing I would say for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking to mine. <laughs> it started last year, but it's here now. So Steph, <laughs> best single thing that happened this past year? I think Gavin turning one because okay. it was kind of that relief of like, all right, the first year's done, we've made it, we were in a new house, it was like we were starting to get settled, so I think his first birthday was like, all right, we hit like a big milestone, it was fun, Gavin was healthy and happy. Good. So, <laughs> Josh? Moving out of California into Texas, being closer to family, yeah. being able to buy a house. You guys had a lot yeah. of big milestones yeah. this year. Like, it's, yeah. it, it's hard for you to pick one good thing because you had so many big good things. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Big All right. Changes for you guys. Number two, what was the single most challenging thing that happened? Moving. <laughs> yeah. I think started, well, moving and starting a new job. It was very much like pick up and start all over again mm -hmm. you know it wasn't like oh well i kept my same job or i switched jobs but i stayed in the same place it was like everything changed mm -hmm. josh gavin getting sick for the first time oh yeah. <laughs> for two and a half months me just being at home dealing with him being sick doctors yeah. sick everything was that was a rough time oh yeah. for you guys that was a really rough time yeah, yeah. michelle Dog daycare yeah. <laughs> um I would say it's the most challenging, right? Challenging. I went back to work this year. I had not been a, at, to work for years. 10 years. But so. the funny thing of that, tell them about, you know, the taxes thing. <laughs> so with Gary. Oh, so, <laughs> so for years and years we have an, account, or an accountant, I guess, yeah, yeah, who does our taxes, Mr. Gill. And every year he always asks, well, Michelle, <laughs> do, do we need to add you to the forms? Like, no, you know. No change. No. no change to me. So this year, we get a letter in the mail, and he's saying he's going to retire. I'm like, retire. no, I get to tell him that I have a job and add me on the tax form. So we'll Not see. Not meant to be. <laughs> so, and I would say the single most challenging thing for me was the month of November and December having to do... Uh, military duty and um, my uh, civilian job simultaneously. You know, I would get done what I was doing for the military during the daytime, <laughs> and then um, at nighttime I would do my uh, civilian job, and it, so that was challenging. So number three, what was an unexpected joy this past year? Unexpected joy. Unexpected. All right, get back to me. Anyone? <laughs> Finley! Oh, yeah. okay. We got a fish. 
that I was not ready for. Josh went, here's a really early Christmas present, and now we have a cute little blue beta fish back on the counter over there. I'll insert a picture right here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, was not ready for him, but he's so cute, and he's fun to watch, and it's been a joy having him. <laughs> well, that's good. Josh? I'll unexpected Jason. joy? I'll get, you'll get back to me. I'll get back to you on the unexpected joy. All right. Um, I would say unexpected joy for me was um, back in February, we went to um, a different Disney resort that we had never been to. And I was kind of skeptical. It was Caribbean Beach Resort. And it turns out being probably my second favorite one we ever went to. I wasn't really expecting it. I kind of went there because we were going to be doing a lot with Epcot and they had the motor transportation Skyliner. And it turns out that I just, I, I absolutely loved that. I like your answer because I was with you. So, yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> you were with me for Finley. Well, I was going to say seeing you get your awards and actually believe in oh. yourself and oh, like yeah. getting that nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. man. Oh, that's because it's a fish. Wow, you're really mean. <laughs> I'll just it was kidding. from you. <laughs> um, what was an unexpected obstacle this year? Daycare. 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 Yeah. yeah, I did not yeah. think finding daycare, let alone it would be this good hard, daycare, would that be expensive, like everything that yeah. entails getting him to eat. Mm -hmm. A lot of oh. injuries. Okay. All of our vehicular problems. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> all the car not started because every day it was a gamble going to the parking lot. Will my car turn on today? Right. Bad yeah. starter or the Chevy having electrical problems. Right. Never ready for them, but they just kept coming up. And it's like, ah, of course. That, okay. Yeah. Um, for me, unexpected obstacle, I'm going to say, was your surprise of going back to work. Because, you know, I, I'm used to Michelle just always being home. And, <laughs> you know, if I need something or, or whatever, mm -hmm. and she's, you know, my co-pilot in life. And... You know, now she's at work, so, you know, I, I got to kind of do some things for myself that I've never had to do before, you know. Not, I mean, she still does, like, so much of the housework and everything, but I'm just saying it's just strange not having Michelle around, like, at all times. I don't think I've had too many obstacles. I mean, you know, hard stuff. Like, right now our cat's sick. <laughs> We're all sad about that. But um, the car needed an alternator. Yeah. I got no heat in it to get to Amazon. Yeah. But, you know. You're you three miles keep, away. But yeah. you got to keep the car because cars, cars are hard to come by. Oh, yeah. So, it does what it needs to. All right. Yeah. All right, number five. Pick three words to describe this past year. Ooh, I'm gonna say fun mm -hmm. because I love my Disney trips. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna throw hot because this summer on vacation was the hottest we I've ever been on vacation mm -hmm. ever. That's because we tried Disney in the summer. We never yeah, we tried Disney. Disney in July and. <laughs> We said, okay, failed experiment, we'll never do yeah. that again. <laughs> and um, back to fun, I'm also going to say because I got much more involved in YouTube. And I have a lot of fun. I don't have a ton of subscribers, I don't have a lot of views, but I have fun doing it. I love the editing, so uh, fun would be YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'll say family, because as I said in my Christmas video, this is the first Christmas holiday season that within between Christmas and New Year, we got to see everybody, Stephanie, Brittany, and Alex. Uh, our three children and our son-in-law Josh, our grandson Gavin. We got to see everybody in the holiday, so we'll say family. All right, three words. I would say eventful because of the moving, finding the daycare, um, the vehicles, trying to help process the base for you, and just still dealing with all the pandemic thing. Challenging too because not only was it eventful change, but a lot of them were really hard. It took, you couldn't just get over them right away. It took time, it took weeks. Like how long did it take us to prep for moving and everything? And joyful because we got to be near family. We got to see family a lot more. We got to experience a new state, get Gavin out of the state. He got to see making friends at daycare. Hey, Wade got to move. <laughs> yeah. Expensive. 
<laughs> we have a one-year-old who, you know, is getting all kinds of stuff for him to keep him entertained or learning toy type, toy type things is just expensive. Moving, buying a house, like I said, the car problems, that's not free. It's been a very expensive year. Uh, stressful, new job, new environment, like we said with the daycare, putting Gavin in daycare. <laughs> stressful for sure. Might get some very <laughs> ah, a little premature. <laughs> um, but overall, excited because though there have been so many new things, yeah, they're stressful, but it is exciting to see him at daycare interacting. It's exciting to see Josh start his bachelor's program. It's exciting to get back into school. It's exciting to start a new job. So, that's excellent. I'll give this to Max. Michelle, three words. I'd say. Um, Fun. I, I think it was a fun year. I do like Disney. This we you know do a Disney this year. Um, I, I don't think this year was stressful for me. I'm a very non-stressful person, so I'm right. not gonna say that. I think it was it was an o okay year, you know, as far as stress level. I mean, starting a new job was was hard, but I do like working <laughs> where I'm working. So you know, it's part time. I think it was full time. I wouldn't like it, but. Right. Um, and family, I'll say that's a good word. We, you know, uh -huh. seeing you guys come see us in Jersey and us to come see your home. You know, and Brittany, Brittany yeah. got to be with you guys a lot this year. So yeah, yeah. Brittany actually nice. helped us move. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, what were the best books you read this year? Um, I didn't read, so convenient. I did yeah. not read one whole book this year, so. <laughs> Easy answer. Yeah, for you. I, I, I don't know if I've read a book. book. I don't uh, think you did this year. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, so there's two books. Uh, yeah, two she down. was just, I'm like, I mean, I read all of my te my yeah. textbooks that I teach my students. <laughs> right. So I, I read Anatomy and Physiology <laughs> and Basic Nursing and Advanced Nursing 1 and 2. There's three. All right. right. Yeah. So that's good. I've gotten a couple other books to read. I'm in the middle of one right now. But, I mean, yeah, textbooks are about as far as I've gotten. <laughs> Josh, sports book doesn't count. No, it's about <laughs> your betting this is, sports this book. This is the history buff over here when it comes to reading. Nikki oh, okay. Sixth is kind of interesting about Nikki Sixth. Oh, okay. Growing up and everything. You actually told me about that book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. So mm -hmm. signed by him and everything. Yeah, nice. So then learning about macro and microeconomics this year, like I thought, oh, I love those. I love how the little <laughs> chain reaction can affect a thing in a right. massive way. Right. The numbers, how they all line. I don't know. I just I love it. Now I get to go to. Nothing wrong with course. that. Put it in the nonfiction section. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, number seven. Who were your most valuable relationships with? Oh, well, I just said, my co-pilot yeah. life Hello. is Michelle, so yeah. I, I'm just going to throw it right there. Most important, valuable relationship, Michelle. I'll say family, you know, yeah. all of us. I mean, we're, we're missing Alex and Brittany in this equation, but it's our nuclear family. Yeah. yeah. You know, unit. Yep. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, they're definitely included here. Yes, that's yeah. right. We're only missing... Family. Yeah. 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 Who is it? He's like the Oklahoma Sooners. The Minnesota Vikings. My, my, v, my VA counselor. Yeah. <laughs> who helps yeah. get me paid every month. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, number eight. What was your biggest personal change from January to December this past year? You guys go first because I know what that is. Me, personal change. Sooners getting a new head coach, Lincoln Riley. Personal change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? The biggest change from January to December. Oh. Um, you moved and changed jobs. Oh, okay. I'd say that's oh, pretty yeah. big. Whole new area you moved to. <laughs> I was going to be like, I started going to the gym again. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. How was it? Um, biggest personal change from January to December of this past year for us. Our, our lives are pretty much the same as they yeah. were in January. It, no, no. We added chickens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't. We didn't do chicken. <laughs> I started the coop in the winter time, but we didn't actually <laughs> add the chickens until Chicken March. Pork. So the biggest change from last January to now is, you know, we went from no chickens to my goodness. At one point we had thirty. Yeah. 
and <laughs> then now we're down to 18. Mm -hmm. And one, one, one we found is a rooster, and he's big. He is big. But he's beautiful, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to elaborate on your biggest change? I think moving and just in general, like starting our lives all over again in a brand new area from scratch. Yeah. I mean, we have everything we had before, but a whole new area. New school out. for you. Yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah, Changing the schools. School. Yeah. I'm so. Kind of Why? Yeah, that was kind of a headache. Kind of headache. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did not go. I don't think he wants to be helped. Please. Gavin, what was your biggest change? Oh. I got teeth. He has teeth and can walk. <laughs> I got teeth. Oh yeah. Teeth and come oh, walk. No. Oh gosh, yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Climbing now too. Um, I'm climbing. Mine is my job. I yes. That's work. Absolutely. That's the biggest change. Uh, number nine. What's the most challenging part of your work? And it says both professionally and at home. Um, I would say for me is um, I had my boss who went to a different position within the company, so I got another boss, and then that boss. Uh, got replaced by another boss who just quit. So I've had three bosses yes, yeah. in a year. And um, out of that, it's been tough. It's mm -hmm. been very challenging because everybody has their own style and everything. Plus, we had two new people come on that I had responsibility for in training. and yeah. So that was the biggest challenge for me this year. What about you guys? So. Let me tell you. Where to start? <laughs> no. Well, for anybody that doesn't know, I was a med tech uh, working in a hospital back at my last base in California. Um, but now I'm an instructor down here in Texas. So I teach that medical technician job to new airmen who are coming out of basic training. So it's a completely different work environment. The job is different. Uh, thankfully, I have like good experience to pull from. That's part of why I got this job, uh, got selected for it. But yeah, it's a completely different environment. The job's very, very different. And I mean, personal challenges, it's, you know, I'm basically responsible for helping mold these airmen who are going out into the world and doing this job. And personally, it's, you know, it's a long job. My work day is 7.30 to five. I'm hardly home. So it's kind of finding that good work-life balance that yeah. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> so what was your most challenging part of uh, work, both professionally and at home, for at home? Uh, balancing the work and home, balancing, you know, yeah. you know, going back to work, I've granted it is only part time, but now it's, you know, I do a little bit of work, go to work, and I, at home, go to work, and do a little bit of work at home, right. <laughs> so, although I still don't have to cook. No, <laughs> I still do the cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I, when I was down here, um, just before we got to their house, we stopped at Bucky's because we love Bucky's. Mm -hmm. Michelle loves going to Bucky's. We hit three Bucky's in 12 hours, yes. but um, I bought a new apron, Bucky's apron, to cook in. So I always wanted to have a nice mm -hmm. apron. In there. So now I have a Bucky's one. So, Josh, was the most challenging part of your work professionally and at home? The pay difference from California to here. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, yeah. It's <laughs> like a big pay cut with school, DoorDash, and like. The VA, luckily that got better okay. than everything else. <laughs> no, but I'm getting back up and I'm climbing back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Personally, professionally, it's kind of like not being in school. I felt lost a little bit going from school for two and a half years and then having a semester off. And I'm like, what do I do? Nah. It took up so much of my life. And now it's like <laughs> I had to wait there and twiddle my thumbs for a whole semester. And thankfully I can get back in. I got to see Gavin grow up, which was hard personally. Yeah. Because, like, being day in and day out parent, he, kids are challenging, but you love them to death. You love seeing them grow up. You love seeing them have a personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, we're going to take a break for a second before we do the last question, because he's actually pulling dog food, dipping it in the water, and eating it. So, oh, wow. no, don't say that. Kevin! <laughs> That is done, and we got him some crackers we instead. We got people snacks now. People <laughs> snacks instead of, real, real instead of okay. puppy snacks. All right, last question. What was the biggest thing you learned this past year? Oh, man, that's that's a tough one. Biggest thing you learned this past year. How awesome it is to be a parent. Oh. Watching your kids grow yeah. up and watching them develop and like okay. mimic you. 
Like, I didn't realize how much kids follow you and pay attention to, like, your every action, your words. Like, him mimicking me, throwing something away in the trash, and then Steph right away saw him go pick something up, walk behind Dad, lift up the trash, can throw it away, and then just follow me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? Video. I love that video where, because you actually caught something yeah. like that on video, where you threw something away and he followed back. I might try to be able to put it in here. I think I have that. I'll try to find <laughs> it. But. Being a parent is awesome, yes, but you do still need to prioritize yourself sometimes. I think especially having that hectic work-life balance, trying to figure it out, you still have to remember to take care of you. You need to take care of you. Yeah. It happens. You put yourself on the back burner, but you shouldn't. Michelle? And I think it, you can do anything you want to if you set your mind to it. You know, okay. being at a work for so long and um, just actually doing it. You can do it. <laughs> you okay. know. I'm sorry, Penny. <laughs> um, and the biggest thing I learned this past year, um, I guess that it's, you have to keep on the track that you put out there for yourself. I mean, people will always try to distract you or, you know, sway you in certain ways. I said I have three different bosses, but I have a process that I follow, and regardless of who my boss is, um, the process should remain the same. Maybe some administrative stuff changes, but the process remains the same. And that's how it is in life, you know? So in work, I follow a process regardless of the administrative part, but that's how life is. Set the plan for yourself in life, and you can have input from other people, and that's great, you know? But you have to stick to your plan, because otherwise, you get nothing accomplished. Michelle and I say all the time, that we have overplanned things so many times to death that we wind up missing out on it. And and sometimes you just gotta make a plan, stick to it, and push through, because otherwise you'll miss out. And I learned that really this year, because I, I, this year, I stuck to my guns a lot this year, mm -hmm. I would say. Instead of being a little more wishy-washy, I stuck to my guns, and it kind of worked out being pretty good. All right. So, but that is it. That is the 10 questions for Tuesday Tag. And Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. I'm glad that you get an opportunity to see uh, this part of my family. Um, maybe one day I'll, I'll be fortunate enough to get the other kids to jump in on a Tuesday Tag. But they're you know, a little more, little more gun shy or camera, camera shy. So, anyway. But thanks for watching. Have a very happy New Year. We'll see you next week.